So you're sick of the fuel prices and you want an electric car. Let's discuss. So the number of types of vehicles, there's the internal combustion engine, which most of us drive. There's the hybrid vehicle. There's a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. And then there's the BEV or EV, the battery electric vehicle, which is fully electric. Today, we are going to talk about the fully electric vehicle, the BEV. Now, after watching this video, you will know and decide whether a battery electric vehicle will work for you or you might as well just stick to paying the fuel prices that we have already. If you're new here, do you know what it means when you subscribe to this channel? Well, there's only one way to find out. Subscribe, share, like. So let's start with a few definitions and this is going to be very interesting. Just stick with me. An internal combustion engine uses fuel, petrol or diesel, and it has a fuel tank. And when we say what's the fuel tank capacity, we mean how many liters can it hold? Probably 60 liters, 70 liters or whatever. Now, an electric vehicle also has capacity and the capacity is measured in kilowatt hours. Sawa sawa? Kilowatt hours is just the amount of electricity and a battery can hold. Since we are in Uganda and we use the metric system, that's we are going to use things like kilometers and hours and things like that and liters. So when we say kilometers per kilowatt hour, we mean how many kilometers an electric car will travel per unit. Let's bring it a bit home. Your yaka meter in your house shows, say if you buy yaka for 5,000 shillings, you're going to get X units. Now, those X units are actually measured in kilowatt hours. So if you buy, say, five units, the units are actually five kilowatt hours. Are we still together? Recently, I sent a WhatsApp on uh, our power suppliers and asked them, how much is a unit of power? And they gave me a figure of 747 shillings. And let's just say it's 1,000 give or take, 1,000 shillings, because, you know, there's charges and all that. Let's assume this is what I use to boil my tea in my house. And it's written on its energy use specifications that it uses 2,000 watts. Simply, 1,000 watts is equivalent to one kilowatt. So it means that my kettle takes two kilowatts. So it means if I use this for one hour, it will take two kilowatts. Are we still together? Now, the good news is our general climate is very favorable for electric vehicles because batteries like to perform, like to work best under uh, temperatures of about 21 to 24 degrees celsius which i mean we are blessed right the average consumption of an electric vehicle is five kilometers per kilowatt hour so we are going to use we're going to assume your car your electric car is a yaka meter so if if you drive for five kilometers your car will lose one unit most of us usually drive average an average ugandan um will travel about 30 kilometers a day which is two into the city and out of the city so that's the combined distance somebody will travel considering traffic jam shortcuts routes around and etc just to try to get home Average it's about 30 kilometers. So in a week, in a work week, you find that you do about 150 kilometers. And in a month, you'd probably do about 600 kilometers. Now, these are all conservative figures and they can be usually more 
or less. So if we divide those 600 kilometers by the five kilometers that you use per unit or per kilowatt hour, you're going to get 120 kilowatt hours per month. Now that is how much power or how many units your car will need. So let's take an average Nissan Leaf, which is about um, let's say about 40, be, between 40 and 50 million Uganda shillings, and that is one which is about 10 years old. A 10 year old Nissan Leaf has about a battery capacity, remember we talked about battery capacity, of 24 kilowatt hours. That battery, when the car is brand new, should last you around 134 kilometers. I haven't yet heard of any arrangement that our taxman has where you get any subsidies or tax exemption because you have an electric vehicle. So I gave you the figure of 40 million inclusive of taxes. The fact that the car is used about 10 years, it definitely will not be 134 kilometers of range. The car will probably last about 70 kilometers. So let's look at our 600 kilometers that we had as assumed that we travel every month if you divide those 600 kilometers by the 70 kilometers that your car will give you on a full charge you're going to have to charge the car about eight times that month if we multiply the eight times per month by the 24 kilowatt hour capacity of your battery that you have on your Nissan Leaf, you're looking at about 192 kilowatt hours that you will need to charge your electric car every month. Because if your battery capacity is 24 kilowatt hours, it means that you need 24 units to charge your car. So if you plugged in your car for the night to charge, and it gets full, it means by morning you will have lost 24 units on your Yaka meter. So if you multiply the 192 units by the price of a unit of electricity, which we had just assumed earlier of 1,000 shillings, you're looking at 192,000 shillings per month on cost of electricity just for the car. So that is minus, you know, your gas, I mean, your lights, your TV and whatever. So to put that into perspective, if your Nissan Leaf has a range of 70 kilometers, that means the distance from Kampala to, I think, Lugazi is about 70 kilometers. So if you drive from Kampala to Lugazi, your battery will run out and then you have to plug it in and then you charge it for eight hours and then you continue to your journey. So if you're going to Jinja, your journey might take, you can do the math. Just the way you're deciding to buy a phone, usually you might not want to buy a used phone, especially if you have all the money. You want to buy a brand new phone. Why? Because you know that the battery will last as long as the, 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 the factory says it will last, and you know that it will take you for some years with efficiency. Right? The same goes for electric cars. You need to buy a brand new electric car if you want to utilize all the range. Or let's say it shouldn't be more than five years. So if we want to get a brand new Nissan Leaf or a brand new electric car, the size of the Nissan Leaf, you're looking at about 150 Uganda million Uganda shillings. Now, you driving your electric car, you might struggle with a certain illness called range anxiety. Range anxiety is that constant anxiety that you have because you are wondering whether your car will die on you while you're driving because the battery has reached maybe 50% and you haven't got to where you are going. An electric vehicle which you might want, which might give you about 300 kilometers, which could easily take you from Kampala to Masaka and spend the night maybe and recharge, well, you're looking at about 250 million. Now let's go to the internal combustion vehicle, just for comparison purposes. So we're going to use the same thing. 
fuel capacity the average fuel tank for an internal combustion vehicle here in Kampala is about 65 liters and the average engine capacity is about 2000 cc or 2 liter if we say that a car of 2000 cc average it will do 10 kilometers per liter quick math will tell us that a full tank of 65 liters will take the car 650 kilometers we already did the math earlier and said that an average person living in the city will do about 600 kilometers per month so if you multiply the 65 liters by the price of fuel which is about 6500 you're looking at around 420 something thousand uganda shillings just on fuel let's look at the maintenance the maintenance for an electric vehicle is not much you just need to make sure you replace brakes change shock absorbers when the time comes and, and tires now the fourth maintenance item at some point just like your mobile device you are going to have to replace the battery for your electric vehicle so if you bought a 10 year old nissan leaf chances are high that you might drive it for maybe two years or so and you might need to replace the battery because it will be giving you a very very short distance and then the battery dies out so how much is the battery for a nissan leaf five thousand dollars and that's probably a one which is not exactly brand new so let's do the math five thousand dollars on top of 40 million what does it cost to maintain an internal combustion engine there's oil service there's engine oil service there's gearbox service there's brakes there's tires there's um a number of things with an internal combustion engine if you're running low on fuel you will stop somewhere at a petrol station and load more fuel into the fuel tank in the first world countries every i think 20 kilometers or even less they are charging stations in uganda currently if you charge your car from home probably if your boss allows you then you probably can charge your car from your office but chances are that you probably will charge your car from home only and if it's a long journey you have to keep making stopovers to recharge unless you're willing to buy the the bigger battery electric vehicles which will probably cost you about 250 million and above if you've watched this video up up until now and you're enjoying it just you know what to do just subscribe so where does this information all leave us there is the cost benefit of owning an electric vehicle there is the health benefit of owning the gasoline or diesel vehicle what would you choose let me know in the comments below now these figures can change so the range of, of, a, of an electric car can drop considering our traffic jam considering the potholes considering the dust electric cars also need things like shades you don't just pack it under direct sunlight you don't just pack it uh in you know play anywhere you have to consider all that then dusty roads can be a challenge because they have some of them have cooling systems so dust electricity maybe just one more thing that you need to take note of is shipping companies are having challenges with shipping used electric vehicles especially after the incident that happened on the indian ocean when one of the car carriers caught fire and it is believed that that fire was caused by an electric a used electric car battery so you might find that if you're getting an electric car in uganda you might have a challenge getting it here or you might find that the shipping cost might be higher because the car has to be handled differently my first recommendation would be buy an, a hybrid but that's a topic for another day thanks guys for watching and let me know what you're deciding in the comments below 
and if you haven't yet subscribe share this video with someone who needs to understand what does it really cost to own an electric vehicle Thank you.